Coming up on First at Four, it has been an ongoing issue for many in Averts. Now new funding could mean new water infrastructure. 20 miles, that is how far some community members walk today to honor Good Friday. What folks say the trek represents coming up. Plus a busy forecast is ahead for the weekend, also into next week. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Olivia Calfi. First at four, a big announcement means that an Eastern Kentucky community is one step closer to improving its water infrastructure. WYMT's Chandler Wilcox was in efforts with an update. Lawmakers have approved funding for water infrastructure improvements here in Everts. The funding amounts to $2.6 million going toward a new water storage tank and other improvements. Everts Water Plant customer Dr. David Klutz expressed excitement about the news. It's really wonderful and it's fantastic news that they've secured funding to fix the water project, fix the water plant and have uh, the improvements that need, need to be done. Clutch thanked leaders for their continued efforts to get this funding. Coming up at 6, we will take a closer look at the impact it will have. And Everett's Chandler Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. All right, Chandler, thank you. The funding is a part of the General Assembly's budget that was passed. The budget now goes to the governor's desk to be signed. We are tracking some really nice weather to close out the work week, all thanks to high pressure. Let's take a live look from the WYMT studios, and as you can see, plenty of blue sky and sunshine back in the distance. Also tracking some mild weather. The current temperature sitting at 68 degrees for hazard, and most of us right now in the upper 60s to lower 70s, up to 70 for Somerset, 69 for Manchester, 67 for London, and 68 for Irvine, also in Jackson at this hour. And up on first alert pinpoint Doppler, we are tracking some more dry weather as we go into this evening and that will stick around into tonight as well all thanks to a strong ridge of high pressure sitting close to the Gulf Coast and that will bring some more dry weather to close out the work week. However, we are watching out for some changes as we go into this weekend as more rain chances are set to increase. Not going to rain for the entire weekend, but a few off and on showers are likely by tomorrow. Also pushing into your Sunday, but this evening once again we are dry. Also not too bad in terms of those lows. Most of us wake up in the middle to upper 40s. More 70s on the way tomorrow. Also on Sunday and also watching out for possibly a few strong storms for the early parts of next week. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Olivia. Cameron, thank you. The Friday before Easter is known as Good Friday. Christians across the world recognize it as the day Jesus Christ died on the cross. WYMT's RJ Johnson shares how one church in Knott County is honoring the holiday. While some people might not start their morning this way, each Good Friday, members of the Hindman Methodist Church gather at the Knott Perry County line to walk more than 20 miles to the Knott Floyd County line. People celebrate Good Friday in several ways, and for this community, folks have celebrated by making this journey for 20 years. Stopping along the way to join in prayer and devotion, Pastor Jacob Wilson says it is a way to remember the true meaning of Easter holiday. It's a good way to remind um, ourselves really uh, right. of the sacrifice and uh, we do it hoping that the people that will drive by will will see the cross will remember uh, the true meaning behind the Easter weekend. He says this is all a part to be closer to God and help spread his message. In Knott County, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. RJ, thank you. Wilson says this year they have invited several high school students to participate in the walk. Folks in Eastern Kentucky are not the only ones recognizing Good Friday. In the lead up to Easter, Pope Francis made history in a ceremony that broke from tradition. CBS says Leah Miskin reports from London. From his wheelchair, Pope Francis washed the feet of 12 inmates Thursday inside a prison on the outskirts of Rome. The 87-year-old pontiff sealed each moment with a kiss and a smile. Many of the women were brought to tears. This was the very first time that women exclusively had their feet washed 
by a pope. That's never been done before in the history of the church. And what does that, you know, message does that send to the world heading into Easter? He sees the church not as a haven for the perfect, but a field hospital where everyone is welcome. CBS News Vatican consultant Father Anthony Figueredo says the Pope seemed in good spirits. You know, he's been hospital several times, but this is a Holy Father, Pope Francis, who wants to go to the end and love to the end. Holy Week celebrations are taking place all around the world, from Spain to the Philippines to Guatemala. I've never seen anything like this. Despite ongoing tensions in the Middle East, Christians in Jerusalem are marking the holiday with a procession down the cobblestone path where tradition says Jesus bore the cross to his crucifixion. Pope Francis is a pope who wants to build bridges and he certainly hopes that what we live in these three days of death will be turned into new life, new hope. Hope for war-torn regions and these inmates, who the prison director says already got a ray of sunlight from the Pope. Leah Mishkin, CBS News, London. Good Friday is part of the Christian and Holy Week, which ends with Easter Sunday, when Christians celebrate Christ's resurrection from the dead. Coming up on First at Four, his story should be here. That is the headline on the front cover of today's Wall Street Journal. How co-workers are using a blank page to tell Evan Gershkovich's story. Plus, we are watching out for a few showers this weekend. Your first alert forecast coming up.